Tyrion quotes Bronn when he counsels Daenerys Targaryen on how to take Casterly Rock, referring to Bronn's determination to conquer the impregnable Eyrie. Bronn, meanwhile, remains Jaime's companion and thus helps command the Lannister army that successfully sacks Highgarden and takes its spoils in order to pay off debts to Iron Bank of Bravos. Following the battle, Bronn complains that he still has not been paid in full, alluding to his promised castle and implying that he wants Highgarden, but Jaime denies him the castle. On the way back, Bronn asks Dick and Tarly for his honest opinion about war, and is amused at the young lord's lack of frontline combat experience. Shortly after, however, the Lannister garrison comes under attack by Daenerys Targaryen and her Dothraki army. Bronn implores Jaime to flee back to King's Landing, to no avail. As Daenerys unleashes Drogon on the Lannisters' spoils from Highgarden, Jaime commands Bronn to get to Kyburn's Scorpion Ballista. Bronn catches the eye of a Dothraki bloodrider, who chases him across the battlefield, intent on killing him. Bronn reaches the carriage with the ballista and kills the bloodrider with a bolt to the heart, and reloads the weapon. He fires at Drogon and misses, but gets Daenerys's attention, who swoops down at him to destroy the ballista. With Drogon in firing range, Bronn takes aim and fires again, striking Drogon in the shoulder, initially with enough damage to cause Drogon, with Daenerys riding him, to start falling. But ultimately it's not enough and Drogon narrowly avoids hitting the ground and destroys the ballista with dragonfire. Bronn jumps to safety in time, and when Jaime foolishly attempts to slay Daenerys from behind only to be met with dragonfire, Bronn tackles him to safety and they both fall into the river. In the aftermath from the battle, Bronn pulls Jaime from the depths of the water, and onto the shore, after Jaime's failed attempt to slay Daenerys and end the war. Bronn tells Jaime that the only reason he rescued him is so he may be the one to ever finish him off, until he gets what he wants from him. Jaime remarks on the power of the dragons and realizes they are in great peril if Daenerys chooses to use all three in future battles. Bronn assures that he won't be around for such an assault, as Jaime laments his duty to report what happened to Cersei. Bronn thinks it would be safer for him to jump back into the river than deal with Cersei's wrath. Tyrion later manages to come in contact with Bronn, who is able to arrange a meeting between Jaime and Tyrion in the cellars beneath the Red Keep, in which they discuss the diversity of the Great War and the fight between Cersei and Daenerys. After returning from the White Hunt, Jon Snow, the Hound, Tyrion, and others allied with or pledged to the Targaryen side arrive at King's Landing via ship, while a large host of unsullied and Dothraki screamers position themselves in the fields outside the city. The group are met en route to the Dragon Pit by Brienne of Tarth, Podrick Payne, and a troop of Lannister men led by Bronn. While escorting them the rest of the way, Tyrion refers to Bronn by his title, Sir Bronn of the Blackwater. In response, Bronn indicates he's thought about Daenerys since the Battle of the Goldroad. Tyrion says that if Bronn is reconsidering his allegiance, Tyrion's offer of doubling whatever others are offering still stands. Bronn assures Podrick, Tyrion, and Varys that none need be concerned for him, that he is looking after himself. Tyrion questions this by mentioning the potential danger in which he put himself by arranging the meeting between Jaime and his brother. Bronn retorts that it's not his head for which Cersei has offered a bag of gold, and that bringing both Varys and Tyrion to her may increase his wealth substantially. After a slight smirk, Tyrion tells Bronn it's good to see him, to which the sellsword replies with a smile, yeah, you too. When they reach the dragon pit, the summit begins, in which Bronn leads Podrick away, claiming they have no place among the discussion about to take place.